So, there's so many tests coming up for health-related things. Some of which are definitely causing me probably more anxiety than they should, but then again, every time I have to have some sort of, like, <sighs> you know, surgery-based thing, or, like, a contrast dye-based thing, there's always some sort of issue, like, even barium has caused allergic, like, responses in my body, and barium is inert. And I've talked about that before, but with mass activation, you never really know what's going to set you off. And that's kind of, like, the frustrating thing about living with it, is people not understanding. Or not even caring, you know? Mass activation has impacted my life so negatively for so long that I feel like I've lost faith in people to a certain extent because like leaving the house is always a risk factor. You never know whose perfume you're gonna run into, you never know what kind of world you're opening up when you leave the house. And that's the scary thing about mass activation is the unknown and the stuff that you can't control. And so like going to the doctors, going to the hospital, even that's scary. And yes, I know a lot of people are scared of the hospital, but like when you're going there for them to do a test on you and there's like a chance of having an adverse reaction to something, you have to premedicate. And then the premedication protocol is like pretty hefty in order to like protect you from having an adverse reaction. And through that process, you realize how serious your disease is, right? And looking back when I've had stuff done and I didn't have the premedication protocol, those instances of going into shock were so scary. Having doctors tell me they didn't know what to do, they couldn't help me. Like, what do you do when someone starts like convulsing because they're going into shock, but that's not like the normal way that someone goes into shock, right? Like bodies jerking around and they're like, I've never seen this before. And it's like, you've obviously not dealt with a lot of people with hyperadrenergic POTS and mass cell activation, right? Like, the two together, it's horrific. It's, it's very... It's scary. It's, it's something that when other people see it, they realize how severe things are. And it shouldn't have to get to that point of, like, blacking out and you know, having these, I don't know, convulsing episodes and having problems breathing and vomiting and all sorts of nastiness with the swelling. So pre-medication has definitely changed my life and I would encourage other people who have mass activation to talk to your doctor, talk to your pharmacist about pre-medication protocol for having MRIs done, you know, having CT done, having a barium done, having a PET scan, like whatever you have to have some sort of dye for. Because who knows, like, maybe it'll just help to save your life, right? And that would be good, because your life's worth living, and you're worth saving. And I know for myself, the amount of trauma that I have from not being listened to, and then being injected with stuff, and then ending up in places in the hospital where they're like, whoa, you know, you had an adverse reaction to whatever. It's like, it shouldn't have to get to that point before you do pre-medication protocol. So it is something worth talking about if you know you have problems with like dye or if you have mass cell activation just as a precautionary measure. I know for like surgery reasons that taking prednisone before surgery can actually increase your risk of getting an infection. So like that may not be something that may be recommended um, also talk to your doctor. I'm not a doctor. I'm a patient living with rare disease and I'm just sharing my experiences here as a disclaimer. So I <clears throat> won't be taking prednisone. Um, and that is scary to me because prednisone helps reduce the amount of swelling. And I guess we will see what happens. Um, if I do start to swell beyond normal limits, which I generally do in general, um, then I'm supposed to take the prednisone, but I'm not supposed to take it before the procedure. So I have to do my other pre-medication protocol. Um, 
which is just basically like minus the prednisone, but taking other medications as well. So I will be doing that. I do have anxiety and I can't seem to get rid of it. Um, my brain is going 101 miles an hour with like all of the bad things that could happen. But it's not going to help me to focus on those, so I'm going to try to busy myself today and do something positive to help myself get out of that mindset. And also keep looking forward to the future because I want to be here tomorrow. I want to be here the next day. I want to make a difference and I can't do that if I allow this disease to end me and I will not allow that.